Thanks for staying with us here at 6.30. It is now official. Short-term rentals in residential parts of Henderson are now allowed, thanks to a unanimous vote by the city council just last night. Yeah, we're talking about rentals through companies like Airbnb, but as 8 News Now reporter Orko Mana explains, those hoping to operate them have to meet a long list of requirements. The city of Henderson says while they're now allowing short term rentals in residential areas, there are still plenty of regulations and enforcement will be stronger than ever. The biggest, I think, complaint that we get is this the party house. But noisy neighbors and short term rentals will soon be a thing of the past in Henderson. The rentals, usually done through companies like Airbnb and VRBO, can no longer be used for special events such as private parties or bachelor parties. Michael Tassi, who oversees short term rentals for the city, says a noise management plan will also be required. Required, which includes devices that will alert the rental operators. It would give them information to make that phone call to the short term renter to say, you know, you're starting to reach those decibel levels, you need to keep it down. Other regulations include paying an annual $820 registration fee, capping the number of people in a home to 20, and paying $500,000 in liability insurance. These regulations are in place to just try and protect the people in the neighborhood where these short-term rentals are located. Operators will also be required to take a short-term rental class at CSN. Julie Davies is the instructor and says the curriculum is wide-ranging. And that includes how to design it, the furnishings, the fixtures and the equipment, the building code that you have to work within, the security, the safety. Advocates who have seen short-term rental plans fail in other valley cities are thrilled. Oh, with the education, with regulations, with uh, annual fees with annual reviews. Uh, this will be an incredible benefit to everybody. In terms of enforcement, there will be a 24-7 hotline residents can call if there's an issue with the short-term rental in their neighborhood. The goal is to respond to each complaint within 45 minutes and resolve it within two hours. Then we have to hold these folks accountable to what our new rules are. The new regulations go into effect in October with a 30-day grace period until November. Reporting in Henderson, Orco Mana, 8 News Now. And the city tells us violators will be fined. For example, if you do not register your short-term rental property with the city, there is a $500 fee every day until the issue is fixed.